These are never seeing a basketball court again. Not for me. Yo, yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy Stretch doing another performance review, this time on the Jordan Zion 2. So, like always, in my videos, go to the gym and I break them in. Go ahead and check that out, fella. checking that out okay so the first thing i want to get into when it comes to this shoe is the the cushioning system that's the the biggest thing that i could think of with this shoe all right so first thing you notice when you put these on is how it hugs around the achilles i like that that's okay it's stiff though it's pretty stiff around the achilles that's okay though even when you break them in, it's still stiff. The other thing I wanted to get into was the heel and the forefoot. The, the heel is air struggle, and then the forefoot is uh, a loaded front loaded air unit, zoom air unit, and it's okay. Like I, I didn't like. It. I ain't gonna lie to you. This is not for the flat footers. This is not a shoe for us. Now I think that if you have an arc in your foot. This will be fine but if you are flat-footed like me this is not it okay so I dreaded wearing these simply because of the cushioning system actually the last time I wore them I got a blister on my foot where the arc would be so this this really this really ain't for the flat-footed um, if you are like I said, if you have an arc in your foot, I think these will be fine. But for us flat footers, this is, it. this is not it. They are bouncy. They have all that good stuff, but they just not comfortable for us. It wasn't for me. Now, if you like Zion and you want to support your man and you want to give them, give them a go anyways, go ahead and do that. But if you do watch my videos and you do trust me a, a, enough and you hard flat footed the same thing man so if i was to give it an overall grade fam i get it i gotta give it a d minus i, I don't want to give it an f you know what i'm gonna give it an f we're gonna give it an f fuck it f plus f plus <laughs> Next thing I want to get into is the traction. Now the traction have a remix to the herringbone as far as how it looks. Now when I first got these, if you watched the video that I posted um, just reviewing the shoe, I thought that they were going to be ass. I thought the <laughs> I thought the traction was going to be ass, but man, this the traction is actually a one no no lie like i love the traction i had no issues i had i didn't have to like i didn't have to do anything um if you like watch my last performance review of the kd15 i would say it's just a hair under that it's not as good as the kd15 it's just it's not <laughs> the kd15 traction is not that much better so if so i will still give this an overall grade as far as its traction an a and for a guy that's as big as you know Zion and how much torque that dude has, uh, the A they they needed to have some great traction. So the traction is good.
Next thing I want to get into is the fit. I wear a 13. I bought a 13. 13 fits fine. So I'm going to say true to size. So the fit is fine. I didn't have any other issues with the fit, no rubbing, none of that. So next thing I want to get into is the material. As far as the material, it has a mesh toe box, which is very flexible. I do like that. I didn't like that it creased like it did. Oh, they look at these. They look like they've been worn a lot, right? So that's unfortunate. That's the only thing I didn't like about it. Um, the sin, cause you know I still like to wear these casually afterwards. So uh, that's that. That's it. That's only that's the only thing I didn't like about it. Um, it has synthetic leather, kind of give you a throwback feel about like how Jordans used to be back when Jordan played and when it was his signature. The whole rest of this is uh synthetic leather it's a little harder right here in the back though on the heel cup so it keeps you locked in there though so we'll get into that later as far as this this does nothing i i didn't even mess with it i didn't have to <laughs> use it to put them on <laughs> as you can see in the beginning of the video i didn't i didn't even bother with this i mean you can just leave it alone you can, you can style it whatever you want to do with it it doesn't do anything so it doesn't help you at all um, and that's pretty much it as far as the materials it is stiff because I right, so for me I've been playing a lot of prime knit a lot of fly knit so then to go from that to this it's gonna be stiffer it is what it is so to me they are stiff but that's only because of what I've been playing in lately and everything lately has been fly knit and prime knit, you know, depending on whatever it is you, um, you know, what you're playing in as far as like you're playing in Nikes, you probably gonna have some fly knit, playing some Adidas, got some prime knit. So just depends. So for me, these are stiff in comparison to everything else. Are they stiff in general? To me, they are, but they gotta be at the same time. Cause again, as I stated earlier, Zion is a big dude, all right? He has a lot of torque. Y'all see him blow through them fly knit PGs, right? Just saying. <laughs> he ain't blowing through these. I, I don't see that happening at least. This is this is hard, man. He's not blowing through these. So as far as the material goes, um, I give it a B minus. It's not bad. It's just it's just not great. Um, not for me. I prefer to fly knit in a very flexible shoe. This isn't that flexible. But we're about to get into lockdown. As far as the lockdown, have no issue with these. Man, I hyperextended my leg, uh, you know, messing around in these. Somebody threw me a bad pass. I hyperextended, and, you know, I didn't hurt myself. So I'm going to have to say these is fine as far as the lockdown. They have a, uh, like I told, like I said earlier, has a very stiff heel. Like, it's uh, the, heel the heel counter is fine, you know. It's not, there's no, there's no give to it. There's no give. Does nothing. This does nothing. So, but even with that, this doing nothing, I still think the lockdown is still pretty good. I have no issues with the lockdown. I give that a B. And overall for the shoe, I have no beef with the shoe. Only thing I don't like is the cushioning system. It's just not for me. It's not for flat footers, in my opinion. I'm gonna speak for all the flat footers because when I see these other performance reviews, they don't really specify, you know, if they have an arc in their foot, or if they don't. And I think that makes a big difference. And for us, for the flat footers, I, I would not recommend this shoe. You can do better. Um, I think it's a heavy shoe. I don't think it's super heavy like a LeBron shoe. I think LeBrons are hella heavy but I still think they're heavy. More heavier than, let's say the KDs or more heavier than PGs or whatever. I think they're heavier. So for me, it's a heavy ass shoe. And uh, overall, man, because it gave me blister on the foot, I can't give it a high grade, bro. I just can't do it. Um, for me, it's a C. I know I gave it a couple Bs earlier and but that F really brings it down for me, man. I, I didn't like um, dreading wearing this. And that's really what happened. Like, I was like, man, I, 
really was telling my wife, I was like, I really don't want to go to the gym and open these, but you know, I wanted to do this performance review and it had to be done. So it is what it is. So as far as an overall shoe, I'm gonna give it a C. I like the way they look. I wear them casually. I like this colorway. That's why I didn't get the voodoo. I didn't like the blue colorway. I like this colorway. So I had to wait for these. But that's it for this video. My name is Stretch. These are the Zion 2s. This is Sneaker Horse. I hope that you follow, subscribe, like. All that stuff goes a long way. Please. Thank you for watching. I'm Stretch. Peace. Peace.